In this presentation, we will understand while loop with else. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to the while loop with else. And the second topic is use of while loop with else. So, let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to the while loop with else. When the while condition becomes false and the loop runs normally, then the else block will be executed. What does it mean? In the previous presentations, we have understood what is while loop and how it works. While loop allows us to execute a piece of code based on some condition. If the condition satisfies, then the loop executes. If the condition becomes false, then in that case the loop terminates. And if there is any statement outside while loop, then that statement will be executed. This is how while loop works. Now, we have also understood in our previous presentation, what is the use of the break keyword. Break keyword also allows us to terminate the loop. But this is called the abnormal termination, as this is not the termination that happens because of the while condition. Break keyword can also terminate the loop. And if there is any statement outside while loop, that will be executed after the termination. So, in both the cases, the statement after the while loop will be executed. But let's say that the requirement is to execute the statement or a set of statements only when the while condition becomes false and not when the break keyword is encountered. This means that only when the loop terminates normally, the set of statements should be executed. Now, how to do this? We can use the else block for this purpose. When the while condition becomes false and the loop runs normally, I have mentioned here the loop runs normally. This means that there must not be any abnormal termination because of break keyword. Then the else block will be executed in that case. So, else block will be executed only when the while condition becomes false and not when the break keyword is encountered. So, I hope this concept is clear. Now, let's see the syntax of while else. This is how while else looks like. First, we have the while statement, which is while condition. If this condition is satisfied, then the statements inside while loop will be executed. If this condition becomes false, then the else block will be executed. But let's say there is a break keyword in between these statements. Then if we encounter that break keyword, then the loop will terminate but else block will never be executed. So, the statements inside else will be executed when the condition becomes false. I hope this concept is clear. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is use of while loop with else. We will now understand what is the use of while loop with else with the help of the programming example. So, now let's see the problem statement. Let's consider a list of fruits that includes four types of fruits. Apple, banana, mango and strawberry. Write a program to determine whether the fruit orange is present in the list or not. So, we need to write a program to check whether orange is available in this list which consists of a total of four fruits. apple banana, mango and strawberry. So, let's write the program for the same. Let's first create the list fruits which consists of a total of four fruits apple, banana, mango and strawberry. Now, we need to write a program to check whether orange is available in this list or not. For this purpose, we can use the while loop. While loop allows us to repeat a piece of code a certain number of times. We can use the while loop here to compare each item of this list with orange. If orange is available in this list, then we will print orange is available. Otherwise, we will print orange is not available. Now, the main question is, what will be the while condition? We can check this condition. If the current index of the item in this list is less than the length of this list, then we can continue. This means we can check this condition. If index is less than fruits length, fruits length will hold the length of the list and index will hold the current index. Initially, index will be 0 and fruits length will remain 4 
because the length of this list is 4. So let's create these two variables first. Fruits len must be equal to len of fruits. We know that len function returns the length of the list. Here we are passing fruits as an argument which means that len function will calculate the length of this list. Here in this case we will get 4 as the value and that value will be assigned to fruits len. Now let's create index variable and initialize it to 0. So first 0 is compared with 4. As 0 is less than 4, we will continue. Inside this while loop, we'll check this condition. If fruits index is equal to orange, here we know that index is 0, therefore this will be fruits 0 and fruits 0 is apple. So we are here comparing apple with orange. If apple is equal to orange, then we'll continue. Let's say that the first item is orange, then in that case this condition is satisfied. And we must print orange is available in that case. Then after this, we must break this loop, which means we must terminate this loop. Why is that so? We need break keyword here because we don't want to continue and compare the rest of the items with orange. It does not make any sense. If let's say the first item itself is orange, then in that case, we must terminate the loop immediately. So it makes sense to add break keyword here. This is the abnormal termination. This is not the normal termination. Now, after this, the next step is to increment the index by 1. Because if let's say that fruits index is not equal to orange, then after this we must increment index by 1. This must not be indented because this increment must happen even if the condition is not satisfied. So I hope it is clear why I have not indented this line. After incrementing the index, we again check the condition and then the next item is compared with the orange. In this way, all the items of this list will be compared with orange. I hope this concept is clear. Now there is one more thing we need to understand. Here we are printing oranges available when fruits index is equal to orange. But what happens when orange is not available in this list? In reality, orange is not available in this list. This means that eventually this condition becomes false. We know that when this condition becomes false, then this is called the normal termination. And if there is any statement after this while loop, then that will be executed. If we type print orange is not available here, then that statement will be executed. This means that orange is not available will be printed on the screen. But there is one problem. If let's say we update the list and add orange in this list, then we know that this condition will be satisfied and orange is available will be printed on the screen. And after this, the break will be encountered. This is abnormal termination. And after the while loop terminates, the statement print orange is not available will also be executed which we don't want. This means that orange is available and orange is not available will be printed on the screen. This is something we don't want. We want to print orange is not available only when the loop terminates normally, not when it terminates abnormally because of the break keyword. So one thing is clear that we must print orange is not available only when this condition becomes false and not when this break keyword is encountered. There is one way in which we can achieve this goal. We can create a variable fruit found and assign it false initially. This means that initially we are assuming that orange is not available in this list. That's why fruit found is equal to false here. Now if this condition is satisfied, then in that case fruit found must be assigned true. This means that orange is available in this list. After this while loop, we will check this condition. If fruit is not found, this means that if fruit found is false, then in that case only we will print orange is not available on the screen. We will do this in a moment, but first let's execute this code. We know that these are the indices of these items 0, 1, 2, and 3. Here, len fruits will return 4, so we can replace this by 4 because there are only 4 items in this list, and index is 0. 
So index variable is pointing to this value 0. After this, let's check this condition. Is index less than fruits length? Index is 0 and fruits length is 4. So we are comparing 0 with 4. Is 0 less than 4? Yes, this is true. Therefore, we'll get inside this while loop and then we'll check this condition. Is fruits index equal to orange? We now need to replace index by 0. So we are comparing fruits 0 with orange. Now, here we are comparing apple by orange because fruit 0 is apple. Apple is not equal to orange. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. This becomes false. This means that these statements will not be executed. Now, this statement must be executed. We must increment index by 1. Therefore, this value will be replaced by 1. After this, we need to check this condition. Is index less than fruits length? 1 is less than 4. Therefore, we'll continue and check this condition. This condition is again not satisfied because fruits 1 is banana and banana is not equal to orange. Therefore, this statement will be executed. Index is incremented by 1. This becomes 2. Now, we will again check this condition. Is index less than fruits length? 2 is less than 4. Therefore, this condition is satisfied. We will get inside this while loop and this condition is checked. Is fruits 2, which is mango, equal to orange? No. This means that this statement will be executed. Index is incremented by 1. This becomes 3. After this, we will check this condition. This condition is again satisfied because 3 is still less than 4. Therefore, this condition is again checked. Is fruits 3 equal to orange? Fruits 3 is strawberry. Strawberry is not equal to orange. Therefore, this condition is again not satisfied. And this statement will be executed. Index is incremented by 1. This means that this becomes 4. After this, this condition is again checked. But this time the condition becomes false. Why is that the case? Because index is 4 and fruits len is also 4. 4 is not less than 4. Therefore, this condition is not satisfied. Hence, this becomes false. And now we have encountered the normal termination. Because this condition is false, the loop terminates. Now after this, we can check this condition. If not fruit found. We know that fruit found is not true. Fruit found is false. Therefore, this becomes true. If that's the case, then we will print orange is not available on the screen. We know that fruit found is false. Therefore, not false is true. Hence, this condition is satisfied. Therefore, print orange is not available will be executed. This means that orange is not available will be printed on the screen. And this is the correct answer. And this is what we want. We know that orange is not available in this list. And that is what is printed here. I hope this program is clear to you. But this is not the only way to write this code. We have used this fruit found variable to keep track of this whether orange is available in this list or not. If orange is available, then fruit found is true. In that case, we know that this statement will not be executed. Instead of checking this condition and then printing this message, we can use while loop with else. We know one thing that when break keyword is encountered, then this statement must not be printed. If this condition becomes false, then only this print statement will be executed. This is what we want. So we can use while else for this purpose. We don't need this fruit found variable. So now let's replace if not fruit found with else. And now let's remove this fruit found equal to false because we don't need this. And let's remove this also. This is how our program looks like. It is more concise in comparison with the previous program. Now we have while else. We know that this statement will only be executed when we have normal termination, when this condition becomes false. If break keyword is encountered, then in that case, this statement will not be printed. So when orange is available will be printed, then orange is not available will not be printed. And if this is printed, then this will not be printed. So we are sure about this that only one out of these statements will be printed. 
the output of this program is orange is not available you can check this on your own by running this code in visual studio code i hope with this the entire code is clear and this means that we are done with this topic okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one